from my perspective, if you overthrow the United States government and like say for example you knowingly have a wife who's KGB and then you're president and you're keeping that a secret and then you're being blackmailed and you're not controlling your appointment you've you've committed blackmail or you you've committed treason very clearly and so um, I don't know the whole situation like about how the money got the way it is when you bought all these hotels and I, I feel bad about uh, taking everyone's hotels from them uh, but well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm actually not planning on taking the hotels. I'm planning on taking all the corporations for the government or all of the corporation for the government and all of the Kushner corporation too, maybe. I'm not sure. I know, I don't know how much Jared Kushner owns. I don't know how complicit the Kushners are in treason. Like I think, I'm pretty sure that Kushner owns a lot too. Um, so, uh, hotels, the government's not going to really be able to, uh, government's not going to be in the hotel business, but they don't mind having properties where they can have research centers and a hotel can be a research center but there are some hotels that you would never turn into a research center like the las vegas hotel and that's why i'm going to take it off your hands i know it's right next to caesar's palace not going to complain about that right next to what the the palazzo and the venetian mm. not going to mind going there and having having a little dinner um, might do a little custom work with the place because um, someone's got to buy the hotel and i don't think the treasury department's going to sell our corp uh, sell physical property to foreign countries because I feel like the only people that could beat me in a bidding war or that would beat me because I don't care that much would be foreign investors because American investors right now are kind of tied up in the stock market. Bill Gates is very tied up in the stock market. People that are super rich, they would be like, oh, I'll buy a, a hotel. They're tied up in the stock market. Um, banks are, are surprisingly leveraged a lot of the time protecting the stock market. Um, but I'm sure banks might, might, might be able to partner with someone to buy the hotel and they could bid against me. But um, I want the hotel because someone's gotta have it. And I wanna take the name Trump off of it and I wanna turn it into like whatever. And um, yeah, I realize if I become president that would be problematic, me buying the Trump hotel. Someone else can buy it, but I feel like no one has the money. And that's the thing about like, how much money we actually have, like in reality, like in reality world where you don't have to go to foreign countries to raise money from them with your bonds. Like we don't have to, like we have foreign currency and our own currency. So how many people really have enough money to be like, yeah, I'll, I'll buy the corporation from the United States treasury and, uh, but I'm not, I'm not saying I'd buy the entire Trump. I mean, I would probably, I mean, I could, I could. If, if they actually wanted to sell it to me. But I think it'd be better for the whole United States government if like the Trump Tower in Chicago and the Trump Tower in New York specifically are turned into uh, research centers because they're, they have a lot of rooms. I know right now that there are people in them, um, but I feel like there are a lot of vacant rooms. And someday, I feel like people own those, own like the actual units, don't they? Um, but rentals, you still can't kick them out immediately. But there are also vacant units that we can turn into offices and we could slowly um, turn it into like the, the research center, like the, the Trump Tower, Chicago, Trump Tower, New York. They could be the research center for um, all uh, government research. Like it could be like the brain of the research. Those are, those are really nice properties. Um, it's basically like, you know, like diamonds built into the walls and gold built into the walls and crap like that. So it's not like... Um, government employees wouldn't want to work there. And I think the government employees should want to work for the government. Um, like, I think that Google should have to be concerned about competing with the NSA. Google should have to be concerned with, um, with well, or Apple should have to be concerned with competing with, with um, the NSA. But right now, the NSA, it seems like the government, they're, they're kind of like assholes. Like, they are. Like, it's like, where the shit? Like why, why doesn't anybody want to help us with cybersecurity? Why doesn't anybody want to share, share, share with us when there's a cyber attack? Why doesn't anybody tell us about this? Well, because you guys aren't very nice. Like you, they don't think that you're actually gonna uh, try to stop hackers. They think you're only about offense. So it's like maybe you need to change. Like maybe you need some, um, some maybe you need Dana Perino to make you guys nicer. I don't know. Um, all right, so. 
Yeah. If you commit treason, then your property gets like everything gets 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 taken away. It doesn't matter if you're Trump or anyone else, and that's just how it works. And I don't think there are going to be enough Americans that want to do it. So so do do I still want the Malaysians to turn that hotel into Satan's lair? They can name it anything they want, but I kind of want it to be Satan's lair, and I don't feel like it should be Forbidden City. Because Forbidden City says, you're not welcome, like you can't petition the government. And my understanding is that um, America is all about being able to petition the government. So if I try to talk to government officials through Twitter, they should be able to contact me. And I feel like petitioning isn't a one-way message. Um, just like I should be able to petition a lawyer, uh, duh. That's common sense. And I should be able to petition a journalist, duh. That's, that's the very beginning of the Constitution. There's a reason it's the beginning of the Constitution. It's because if the government is framing and murdering people for Austin, for like the Austin bombing, and there's someone that is a is a conscientious objector to it, um, then they should be able to talk to the media about it. All right, so um, yeah, I don't really have to buy the Trump Tower in Las Vegas, but I feel like they should sell it to me because I I, I I can't imagine anybody else gonna is gonna be able to compete with me, um, at least in the United States.